In this video, we will review the ultrasound guided radial nerve block. For a typical block, we require various equipments. These may include clohexidine for aseptic precautions, sterile gloves, a tegaderm, an ultrasound machine. You may wish to use a peripheral nerve stimulator, sterile ultrasound jelly, a 22 gauge short tip blunt needle, and required local anesthetics and sedatives. The radial nerve originates from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus and enters the posterior compartment of the arm. It spirals obliquely around the humerus, that is the spiral groove, and pierces the lateral intermuscular septum to descend between the brachialis and brachioradialis. It then divides into superficial and deep branches above the lateral epicondyle to descend into the forearm. It is best to block the radial nerve before it divides into its branches, that is superficial and deep distal to the spiral groove. For this, the arm is placed with the shoulder adducted and internally rotated and the elbow flexed so that it lies on the chest. This allows for the best access to the posterior lateral aspect of the humerus. A linear transducer is placed near the spiral groove to identify the humerus. Next, upon distal scanning, the radial nerve is usually seen as a triangular, hyperechoic structure coming off the humerus. After raising the skin wheel using a local anesthetic, a 22 gauge, usually about 50 millimeters, needle is introduced in plane or occasionally out of plane aiming to enter the facial compartment next to the radial nerve. An injection of 5 milliliters of local anesthetic is made after negative aspiration to encircle the radial nerve circumferentially.